Certainly, there's a massive opportunity for streaming services to take share from linear TV. Right now, there's about $100 billion spent annually um, on the pay TV ecosystem versus only about $15 billion for the subscription marketplace. Netflix is obviously the, the lion share of that. Um, but over time, we think cord cutting will continue to accelerate. That will benefit all players. We, we actually have a buy rating on Disney because of that. We think you know, going from zero to 10 million signs, we think there will be 21 million subscribers on Disney Plus by the end of December. Do you, Bernie, do you welcome when a company like Netflix spends more on a movie versus more on TV episodes? Which kind of attracts subscribers better? Yeah, so in 4Q, it's really marking a change in strategy for Netflix. Historically, their budgets for movies have been much smaller. So like Roma... Uh, last year, the Oscar nominee had about a $15 or $20 million budget. The Irishman this year is about $160 million. You have Underground 6, which is also a massive budget. And then Red Notice next year with The Rock and Ryan Reynolds will be a $200 million budget. So these are massive budgets that the company is spending. And historically, uh, movies haven't been a major driver of subscribers to the platform. There were 73 million households who watched Murder Mystery in the first four weeks of it launching. But that was also in 2Q when the company reported domestic subscriber decline sequentially for the first time ever. I'm on the back of the massive price increase. Nicole, what's on the line for Netflix or the release of Irishman? I mean, it certainly seems like they've been planning a lot of money and certainly a lot of marketing uh, into, this, into this film's release, whether you think about them taking over Little Italy here in New York City and throwing it back, you know, doing a throwback to the 1970s, or the movie theater releases in two very iconic, well-known theaters, uh, one on each of the coasts. Yes, the uh, Irishman is a big deal for Netflix this fall, both from a subscriber acquisition standpoint and also from an awards standpoint. Last year, obviously, we had Roma, and they spent tremendously on marketing that film, and they did really well at the Oscars. For the first time, they were nominated in Best Picture, and they, they had a good run. Alfonso Cuaron was one for Best Director. But what the, the eye on the prize is for that Best Picture prize, and they're looking to the Irishman to get them there. Um, they also want to prove that they're a home for filmmakers, and that's why they are expanding into the theatrical space more so than they've ever done before, yet still to the chagrin of many theater chains who will not play by Netflix's rules. So, Nicole, how does Netflix actually ga gauge success for a movie like this? I mean, it's not box office ticket sales, right? I, is, it, is it just the amount of subscribers that stay glued and watch the movie? Well, they do not share box office results, so we do yeah. not believe that box office is important to them. Um, yes, subscriber acquisition is what they're all about. And now with all this added competition from Disney Plus and with HBO Max coming down the line and Peacock after that, there will be additional co uh, competition, not to mention all the out-of-home theatrical movies that are out there, plus all the other content that's available to be streamed. Josh, is Netflix still a momentum and subscriber number stock, or is it going to transition in the near future to being a P multiple stock? Well, I, I think it's largely being driven by whether or not they can keep the U.S. audience um, and, and keep not just the subscribers coming in, but the engagement. Um, but then also the international has been the bigger driver. Um, and I guess my question would be, understanding that, that the movies have not driven new subscribers, but do the movies hold people longer? Do they keep people's attention more? Um, and do they maybe prevent people from canceling because of these types of events where you say, I really don't want to leave Netflix and go to Disney. I want to keep both because I don't want to miss things like The Irishman when they happen, even if they're only once or twice a year. Uh, what, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I would say it, certainly we haven't seen that yet for them keeping subscribers in the platform necessarily. And that's why we prefer something with The Mandalorian with Disney+. Plus. They're releasing it over. We're going to have a new episode every Friday until the end of the year. It's episodic. They don't just dump the whole season Exactly. On you. So it, just, it doesn't come and go like Stranger Things did over Fourth of July weekend. Right. Yeah. And of course, there's the whole Baby Yoda craise that seems to be taking on <laughs> I can't new... Even, you can't go through Instagram without seeing a meme.